right, shalom, shalom. Y'all give me one second. Peace and salutations to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's elect. All right, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being his uh, begotten, only begotten son. All right, and they're only the powers of Israel. All right, Israel today represents the so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans through the seed of your fathers. All right, and uh, you know, today is um, June, uh, what's today? It's June. Ain't no microchips. All right. As the bishop would say. All right. It's June 3rd, year 2024. The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right. You know what I'm saying? And we're, uh, you know, definitely inching closer to that day. All right. You know, a lot of things have went down here of late. All right. Uh, one in particular, the Donald Trump individual all right nero trump he's been in uh a nigga got charged with uh 34 counts of whatever he, he was up for all right they found him guilty all right you know if he is to receive um uh any jail time behind that you already know what these proud boys of america gonna do all right proud boys of america code word for the uh, edomites all right the proud edomites which are the so-called white people today but they're not white they're red all right, but you know, you got that going down. All right, you know, you got the bread and circus, of course, to keep you niggas distracted and shit, you know, that, of course. And, uh, you know, the machine is in overdrive mode, all right? So I'm gonna open up with a scripture right quick. All right, this is Psalms 91 and 1. It say, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. All right, the secret place of the Most High is this, is this truth, all right, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, which was given to an, uh, an elect few, all right, you know, that's only who are able to uh, obtain this, all right, the elect and the rest are blinded, all right, the elect began with 144,000, all right, um, you know, 144,000 governors of Israel, all right, whom Yahweh gave to Yahweh shot before the foundation of the earth was laid, all right. You know, and then you got the one-third remnant, all right, those who understand the message and who are also preordained and chosen for salvation before the earth was laid, all right? You know, it's a song being sung, and if you can't sing it and you can't dance to it, then, you know, you, you, you more than likely ain't going to be invited to that party, all right? You know, not the first time around, at least, all right? Because the Lord is going to turn away ungodliness from Jacob, and all of Jacob is going to be in the kingdom, all right? Two-thirds included, all right, as some of these... Other camps would have you not to believe, but you know that's because they don't have the they don't have the truth. All right, they have pieces of the truth, but the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Do they have it? Absolutely not. All right. So um, saying in Psalm ninety one, reading verse two, it say, "I will say of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, I will shout. He is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler." And from the noisome pestilence, he shall cover thee with his feathers. Under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. All right, because this truth is your ticket out of here. All right, you know this truth is what's gonna get you your your spot on the chariot. All right, well, you got this truth and then your works, of course. You know, cause faith without works is dead. So you gotta have both. All right, but for us hopeful elect brothers who teach, you know, who are able-bodied, go out and speak, all right, and, um, you know, do what it is we're commanded to do, all right, you know, this truth is our shield and buckler against, all right, all forms of evil, and it's our ticking on to a, a chariot, all right, it's, it's, um, it's our way of making our calling and election sure, all right, the videos through the week, but the camps also, all right, you know, going out before the people, all right, in the opening of the city, all right, and proclaiming his word, all right, whether you in a B-52 
big city, small city, you know what I'm saying? Big town, small town, whatever. All right. Wherever you at, if you got it and you able to do it, all right, just go out and do it, all right? And as you know, our elders was, was going into, uh, was it last week, um, the lone wolf spirit, you know? You, you can't have, have that mindset either, all right? Because you're going to need brothers, all right? To talk to, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, when you get into binds and shit, all right? Me in particular, I live in a city where it's just me, but I don't, damn, so I don't consider myself a lone wolf at all. You know, I talk to brothers all the time, you know what I'm saying? All the time, you know? So, you know? And if I'm ever in a bind and I need anything, I know those brothers will be able to, you know, do what it is, you know, they can do to help me, all right? And it's vice versa, because, you know, I definitely try to be able, I try to be, you know, accessible to, you know what I'm saying, the brothers and whom I'm particularly close to in the truth, you know, just saying. All right. <clears throat> so let me continue this out on verse five. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flies by day. I write them ICBM missiles, because that's how Yahweh is going to plead with this, with this earth. All right. The Lord, the scripture say, with the sword, shall the Lord plead with all flesh. All right, and the sword of the Lord is gonna be bathed in heaven. It's gonna come down upon Idumia. All right, them ICBM missiles are gonna go up into the heavens and they're gonna come down upon Babylon the Great, aka America, spiritual Edom, spiritual Sodom and Egypt. All right, it's gonna turn this place into a lake of fire. All right, 200 million nuclear missile warheads who are prophesied to rain down on Babylon the Great. All right, as well as the laser beams from the chariots, all right? It's going to turn this place into a lake of fire. All right, that's that arrow that fly by day. All right, and ain't none of them going to miss their mark. The scripture tell you that the Lord is going to guide them missiles, and they're going to hit every place the Lord want them to hit. All right, none shall miss their mark, all right? <coughs> Excuse me. Verse 7. <coughs> it say, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. All right, because you're going to be protected. All right, and ultimately the elect are going to get beamed up into a chariot before the missiles hit. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a glorious deliverance, all right, to the point where, you know, um, the deliverance from this place is going to be talked about, you know what I'm saying, a as the deliverance from ancient Egypt was talked about, all right? You know what I mean? So let me see. Um... Verse 8, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Alright? Because you're gonna be up in the chariot, alright? And the chariot's got that um, you know what I'm saying, that glass bottom where you can see see through it, alright? At least that's what we believe, alright? Be able to look down on the destruction, alright, you know. <clears throat> and that glass bottom is gonna be like the greatest telescope ever created, alright, you know what I'm saying, because the things that are in the heavens are much, much more glorious than the things that are down here, you know, the Lord's things are going to be way better than Esau, so if Esau got a telescope and some shit, a microscope telescope, those things where he can zoom in to the nth degree and see, alright, the smallest little thing, just imagine how amplified, you know what I'm saying, the chariots and the, and the instruments of the most high are going to be, alright. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Sorry about that. Um, verse 9, it says, Because thou hast made the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is thy refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. All right, because the Lord going to have the angels, you know what I'm saying, cover, cover his elect. All right. Verse 11, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under the foot. Alright, there's these other nations, alright? Uh, Cause they not getting beamed up. Observation is only for Jacob. And on this side again, the elect of Jacob. Two thirds of the Lord people ain't even getting salvation on this side, alright? You know, they gonna get destroyed. Right. And two third represents uh two out of three of you Negroes, Spanish and Native Americans right here in North America. Alright, let me say that also. Alright, that's what you you, you uh, undesirable Jake that's here in North America, alright? That's where that that's what that prophecy is meant for. Alright. Alright, say uh verse 
14 because he had set his love upon me therefore I will because he had set his love upon me therefore will I deliver him I will set him on high because he had known my name all right what is the name all right Yahweh being the heavenly father and Yahweh Shai being his only begotten son all right <clears throat> not Yahweh not Yeshua not a Haya and a Shia all right uh and all them other different names Jesus definitely not that all right you know what I'm saying none of those names all right you got Yahweh and you got Yahweh Shai those are the only two names whereby you know what I'm saying salvation coming all right you know what I'm saying Yahweh Shai is the savior all right and you have you can't go around Yahweh Shai to go to Yahweh all right let's say that also all right because you got a particular camp out there who believes you ain't got to go through Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh all right them and their congregation are going to be dealt with viciously, all right, for those beliefs, all right, because if you believe in it and you sitting around it and you, you in agreement with it, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get the punishment with it, all right, you know, this ain't no, this ain't no, uh, no middle ground thing right here, yeah, but the, the Lord said, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay, all right, so you got to choose a side, all right, and that straddling the fence shit is going to get a lot of you niggas killed, all right, you know what I mean? So continuing out, they say, uh, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. How you gonna call upon the Lord if you don't know his name? All right? How you gonna call upon, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to seek an answer from a person whose name you got wrong? All right? And if you played with his name, all right, why, why would he answer you in, a, in your time of need? All right? The Lord isn't. The Lord said, um, many shall come in that day saying, Lord, Lord, we prophesy in thy name. And the Lord gonna say, depart from me, I never knew you. I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. All right, and that's gonna be a lot of these camps out here, all right? It's outside of the Great Millstone, all right? And the doctrine of Great Millstone, which is 100% true. All right, under scriptures, all right? So again, verse 15, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him, all right? What trouble is it talking about? Jacob's trouble. All right, a time like never was since it was a nation. All right, it's gonna get so bad out here as the scriptures say that Michael is gonna have to stand up. All right, but Michael is only standing up for the elect. All right, two thirds of you Negroes and Spanish Native Americans. All right, during Jacob's trouble is when a lot of you are gonna get destroyed. All right, and for those of you that make it through Jacob's trouble, all right, you're gonna receive that mark in your right hand and your forehead. All right, and then the Lord is gonna leave you here and melt you. All right, these things are coming. All right, and if you ain't preparing and, and uh, telling the people about it, all right, then woe to you. All right, because that's our mission, all right, to uh, warn Israel, all right? You know what I'm saying? Let them know what's happening. Let them know what's coming, all right? And the scripture tell you, whether they hear or forbear, they shall know that a prophet had been among them, all right? So just give them the warning, all right? This is Ezekiel 3. Well, hold on, let me go back. I didn't read that last one in uh, Psalms 91. Psalms 91 and 16. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. All right, the kingdom of heaven the first time around. All right, because <clears throat> the kingdom of heaven is going to come down out of them chariots onto this earth and be established in that thousand year reign with Yahweh Shai. All right. You know what I'm saying? You had you would have to be out of your mind to not want to be a part of that. Alright? You know what I'm saying? That's my only hope and desire. You know what I'm saying? I'll trade any and everything on this side to to obtain that. Alright? You know, because it's that's that's lets you know right there that you one of your Howard Shire's day ones, alright, you one of his you know what I'm saying? His, his friends, as he says, all right? I call you no no longer servants, but friends, all right? You was one of your Hawashai's friends, if you were of that number, all right? So this is Ezekiel 3 now. In verse 17, it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. All right, so that's the, that's the mission, that's the duty. Go out and give them warning, all right? <clears throat> Verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, I'm talking about you two thirds, all right, because two out of three of you Negroes, Spanish name Americans are considered wicked. All right, in fact, in Jeremiah it says you surpass the deeds of the wicked, all right. Let that be known, all right. It's also known 
First Maccabees 1 and 11, in those days went there out of Israel, wicked men. All right, Daniel 12 and 10. All right, many shall be purified and made white, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. That's talking about you niggas. All right. When I say niggas, that goes for you wicked Native Americans as well as you wicked Hispanics, all right, or Latinos, or whatever the hell you want to call, you know what I'm saying? You Northern Kingdom Israelites, two out of three, y'all are wicked, wicked as shit, too. All right? So, again, it's a, uh, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. All right, so if you don't warn the wicked, the Lord is going to kill him regardless, but you're going to get it too. All right. Verse 19, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul, all right? So that's the mission, all right, to deliver your soul, all right? <clears throat> and the best way to, to deliver your soul is to preach this word, all right, you know? Hey, got to get them sins off, bro, because we all have sinned. In all our life's lifetimes, and we sin in this lifetime, we sin every day, but you know, you want to get your garment as, and keep your garment as clean as possible, you know what I'm saying? If it, hey, you don't want to be spotted, spotted and shit, you know what I'm saying? Jeremiah 5, this is what I was quoting earlier when I was, when I was saying um, Jake has, has uh, surpassed the wicked and wickedness. Alright, this is Jeremiah 5 and verse, I'm going to start at verse 20. Okay, it says, Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, and have ears and hear not, Fear ye not me, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, that it cannot pass it? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Though they roar, yet <clears throat> can they not pass over it? But this people had their revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolting and gone. All right, that's, that's the Lord we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Two thirds of you niggas today. All right, you got a revolting, <clears throat> revolting and a rebellious heart, meaning spirit and mind. All right, you know what I'm saying? They're revolting and gone. Neither say they're in their heart. Let us now fear the Lord, our power, that give it rain, both the former and the latter. In His season, He reserved unto us the anointed weeks of the harvest. All right, verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things. And your sins have withholding good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lie wait as he that set his snares, as they set a trap, they catch men. All right, and that's a lot of these camps out here, right? Now you are see comes to mind right off the top. I seen an article the other day one of the brothers did. All right, these got a prison program where they recruit niggas out of prison and some shit to be a part of the uh, congregation, all right? That's the same thing the ISUPK does, all right? They get these, all right, you know what I'm saying, prisoners and felons and hard-headed niggas when they come out of jail and they milit milit make them militant and shit, all right, and put them, make them a part of their fucking black army. All right, that's pretty much what it is, all right? A goddamn militant black, black army, all right? You know what I'm saying? So they they said they sent snares, all right. They move like these Edomites move to a certain degree, all right. And a lot of these these camps are in bed with these Edomites, all right. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck the leader your org your organization your camp is worth 150 million dollars, all right? You know what I'm saying Captain Nate, 150 million dollar man, bro, all right. So let me see uh. Verse 27, all right, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they have become great and waxing rich, all right? That's like the IUIC right now, you know what I'm saying? All these different camps, you know what I'm saying? They got a 
certain monetary, you know what I'm saying, gain that they use the truth to choose a book. All right, Sephora, you will, all right, you know, these niggas' God is, is mimic, all right, the God of this world. All right, their God is not Yahweh Shemi Abishai, all right, they don't, they don't, they ain't got it, bro, all right, you know, they're of the world, all right. That's why the world loves them, all right, that's why they got worldly accolades and worldly riches, all right. See, um, hey, and that when they say that house is full of deceit, all right, you know, uh, listen, they show the brothers also did a video where Nate was having a video and he was talking about uh, how one brother was, was in his not not no brother of ours, all right, one brother in a particular organization, the IUIC, all right, was was hollering at another nigga brother, all right, and was uh, shooting up, you know what I'm saying, provocative pictures and shit, all right, she talking about how she wanna, you know what I'm saying, rock dude, Mike and shit, you know what I'm saying, drinking them waters, I mean, it was real explicit shit, all right, and this is what goes on in, the, in their organization, all right, you know, they have all them different women and men amongst each other and shit, they're just breeding adultery, all right, and they sitting up there, you know what I'm saying, behind their pool pictures, you know, laughing about the shit, you know, and whatever, whatever they thought they was doing, all right, it looked fucking tacky and disgusting. All right, and, 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 and nigga, you the head of that shit. All right, you know, the Lord gonna judge you for them for them people doing that shit. He gonna judge them, but you gonna get some of that work too, some of that nasty work. Your how about you I gonna give you? All right, you uh, you camp heads and shit. You know, these false false camps. All right. So let me read this. It say they are wax and fat. Verse 28, they are wax and fat, they shine. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. All right, Nate went from breaking down the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai to cursing the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right, you know, until, until the Lord put that nigga a couple of steps away from death. All right, then he got, then he got back to calling on the name. The Lord healed him up. All right, and he went right back to his madness. All right, as the scriptures say, the dog returning to his vomit. All right. Let me continue this. It say, um, they are waxing fat. <clears throat> they shine. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? All right. You know what I'm saying? You just wait until Yahweh Shai come back. Get you niggas who played with his name, all right. You know what I'm saying? All you niggas who played on his name, all you niggas who played on his, on his, uh, on his status, all right. Like he ain't him. Like he ain't really like that, all right. You niggas just don't know, all right. Your whole shot is coming back to square. All this shit up with you niggas who really, really, really out here woofing and playing around with his name and his truth, all right. It gotta happen, all right. It gotta happen, all right. You niggas gotta get that sword, all right. Saying the Lord might beam beam you niggas up, all right, and plead with you niggas in the wilderness, all right, cut your fucking heads off out there, all right. But just know you 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 gonna give an answer for it, all right. This madness that you've uh, pushed out amongst our people, all right, and for this uh this uplifted status you you put yourself on, all right. So-called Hoover, high priest, crib of Israel. All right, you know what I'm saying? You niggas gotta pay. All right. I'm the scripture to tell you about the servant who knew his master's will and then uh, go about it, gonna get beat with many stripes. All right. You know what I'm saying? So all y'all who know about the truth, who, who know what you know, you know what I'm saying? But, but hey, you're gonna, get, you're gonna get more stripes than a nigga out here who was, you know what I'm saying, probably living that gang banging life like you like you aspire to uh, to do. Alizor, Alizé, whatever the fuck that nigga name is. Alright. So, hey, then, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just to change topics a little bit, you know. The last couple of days, alright, you know, it's that time of year, it's summertime and shit. And uh, school just got let out and shit, so you know, you got a lot of graduations and whatnot, so, you know, <clears throat> worldly shit comes up here and there, right? So, 
because of that, you know, the last couple of days I've had to be around, you know what I'm saying, particular members of my earthly family who I don't really be around too much. All right, especially since I come into the truth, all right, they rarely see me. They might see me maybe three, four, three to five times a year, max, all right, that's when they're going to see me, all right, you know, you know, because the truth, it draws a weird between you and your so-called family, all right? So, uh, you know, things have, uh, have been uh, happen, uh, happen, happening here of late to where, you know, um, I, have to, I have to be around them a little bit. So, you know, that's that. So, uh, just, in, just just being around them and seeing them, all right, it's like, how can I put it? The, the, uh, the separation is there, all right? Like, even though you grew up with these people and they're a part of your quote-unquote earthly family, but... Once you then came into this truth, all right, it's not the same. Nothing, nothing is ever the same again, all right. Like I got a nephew, uh, you know what I'm saying, dude, like seven, eight months younger than I am, all right. We was basically raised as uh, as brothers, brothers pretty much, all right. It's me, all right, my twin brother and him, all right. We were basically raised as brothers. We was always around each other and shit, all right. But he lives an alternate lifestyle, all right. And that that moism got it, all right. So I ain't seen nigga in probably about four, shit, maybe three and a half years or so. I ain't seen him or nothing, you know what I'm saying, at all. So the uh, at this particular event that I had to go go to, you know, what I'm saying I was there first. I got there before they got there and shit. So when they came in, you know, what I'm saying they came over to me to speak and shit, and it's like the interaction was just bland and shit. Like, I mean, it's like. When I looked into his eyes, because we, we made eye contact, when I looked into his eyes, you know, all I seen was darkness, bro. I was like, man, straight just darkness, bro. All right. You know, so, you know what I'm saying? Took hands and all that, you know. But just, I was just, uh, the whole time I was there, I was just looking at everybody, you know what I'm saying? Just just monitoring, just seeing how they all live. And I'm like, man, these are destroyed Jakes. All right, now nah, of course, I don't bring the truth out around him. I'm already past that that phase. All right, I don't do none of that no more. I just be around him when I gotta be around him. I just blend in as best as I can. But I'm just looking at him and shit. And I'm like, man, this is nothing but just this is all death right here. Right in my mind, I was making. In my mind, I was like, man, I was coming to grips with basically like, man, this gonna be one of the last times I see these niggas, bro. That's how I was commit. What do you want to call it? Commemorating the event. I was like, man, I'm just here to, you know what I'm saying, basically say my goodbyes to these niggas without saying my goodbyes to them out my mouth. Because I, we know and we can feel that things are getting ready to take a turn, a drastic turn for the worse, all right? And a lot of our family is going to get destroyed during this time, all right? Because they're not right and they just not chosen, all right? And it's, it is what it is. When you've been in the truth a little bit, you come to grips and you, you come to accept that and expect that, all right? So... You know, I was just around him, and I was just like, man, it's going to be one of the last times I see you niggas, bro, because Yahweh was shot. Yahweh was getting ready to send Yahweh was shot back. All right, and when he comes back, all right, he coming back to plead with, with, with Jake with that sword, all right? Two-thirds of our people, they're not leaving this place, all right? He's going to give Esau, all right, the green light on a lot of them, all right? Uh, oh, Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, and the staff in their hand is my enemy nation. I will send him against a hypocritical nation. All right, you know, gonna, the Lord gonna let Esau loose. And a lot of our people gonna feel Esau wrath, all right? You know, uh, and then there's just different other shit going on, all right? Different conversation, all right? Last thing about that, you know, I was sitting up in there, and it's funny as shit, because I see my brother down there every day, all right? We don't hang out or no shit like that, but I see him in passing every day. But, uh,. <clears throat> We got on this subject about this uh this fucking music and shit, all right? Cause that's all you can talk about when you're around Jake. When you're blending in, it's either gonna be sports, music, or some other type of folly. But the only thing I give in, the only thing I talk about when I'm around, you know, what I'm saying my family to make the time go by is sports and music, all right? Cause you know what I'm saying that just whatever, they make the time go by fast. All right, so we, we got on the subject. They was talking about uh, sexy red. All right, nasty red is my is my evil likes to call it. All right, and uh, my brother had this thing gonna bust out. He talking about 
man, bro. I, I like sixth grade, bro. Da, 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 da. That's like, what the hell you mean? You like this woman? They were like, man, she, she herself, bro. She get along with boy like that. Like, nigga, that bitch be out here talking about how big of a hoe she is, how much her fucking vagina smells, all different type of shit. I'm like, nigga, you just had your oldest daughter graduate. I'm like, and you over here talking about, you know what I'm saying? You uh, you like motherfuckers like sexy red. I was like, nigga, would you would you want your daughters to grow up and be like sexy red? And I looked at the nigga, and I when I look in his eyes too, man, it's nothing but darkness, bro. These niggas got, man, it, these niggas got so many demons on them. All right, I mean, they eyes are pitch black to me, bro. I mean, I, I just keep it real. When I look into my twin brother's eyes, when I look into that nigga eyes, all I see is blackness. Straight blackness. Alright, like, man, this nigga is dark, bro. Dark nigga, bro. And, uh, but when I said that to him, alright, he, uh, he just looked down and he started smirking. He was like, nah, I wouldn't want my daughter to necessarily be like that, but, you know, I'm like, nigga, he crazy. He was like, but, he was like, but, bro, when they grow up, they grow. You can't really do nothing about it. Like, yeah, they, they grow and shit, but, nigga, you can be okay with it. Nigga just shook his head and he was smiling and smirking and just all that shit. I'm like, man, you niggas are crazy, bro. You niggas are truly, truly fucking crazy. All right, and that's why the Lord gotta kill you, niggas, bro. What can you, what can you do with with, with these type of people? All right, you know what I'm saying. And this other madness that was that was said amongst, I mean, these niggas left me. Man, put it this way: when I left them niggas and I was out the way. Uh, I was like, man, I see why I don't go around you niggas, bro. I see why I do not go around you niggas, man. And then the cold part about that, they want me to come back. They trying to get, they trying to get me to come back. Not this week, but next week. I'm like, man, listen, I don't be down here like that, bro. I don't fuck around in, in the city like that. I don't like being around. This is personal. I don't like being in Dallas, bro. I just do not like going to fucking Dallas. All right, I don't like the people. I don't like the way they drive. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the fucking freeways. I just do not fuck around in Dallas, especially Arlington and Fort Worth and Garland. I don't fuck around down there like that. All right. But you know, they want me to come down there and see their houses and shit and do all that. I be like, dude, the fuck am I gonna be? What we gonna do down here? I don't live the life you niggas live. I don't want to sit around and watch you niggas get high all day. I don't want to do that shit. All right. I don't want to see that shit. I want to fucking go home. All right. I don't want to be around you niggas like that. But hey, that's just the world trying to trying to pull pull Jake back in, you know what I'm saying? And y'all forgive me for my my personal rant and talking and shit. Alright. But that's just the world trying to pull you, pull you back in and strengthen them old ties that you've severed. Alright, but it ain't gonna work. Alright, because eventually the, you know what I'm saying, the longer you sit around them, alright, they know it's a difference between you and them, alright? These these people, our family, they see the light on us. As the scriptures say, wisdom, who can interpret uh, the wise thing? Wisdom makes the man's face to shine. So when you got this truth, all right, you stick out. The, the world is of its own. The world cleaves to its own, but you ain't going to be, you're going to stick out, all right? They, they might not know exactly what it is about you, but they're going to know it's something <clears throat> different about you. And the longer you sit around them, all right, that it's going to come out, all right? Once it started coming out, you know, feelings gonna get hurt, all right? Cause that's what this truth does, all right? Let me read that in Hebrews 4 and 12. All right, it says, For the word of Yahweh shall power is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner. Of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All right, the heart means the mind. So this truth reveals who you are and what you really about. All right, you know and this particular sister that want me to come back down there. All right, to see her house. You know what I'm saying? To uh, you know all that. She lives an alternate lifestyle. All right, so you know what I'm saying? It's just, dude, <laughs> it's crazy. All right. The things in which, you know, these people think they want from us, all right? They think they want us in their presence. They think they want us around them, but little do they know. Man, y'all forgive me fucking bees and shit. It's like, fuck this place.
three. Yeah, these people they really think they want us around them, but they really don't know. All right, you know what I'm saying? Y'all give me fucking these. All right, when it's really just better for them to, uh, you know, live their life and go their way and let us go ours. All right, you know, because you know, once this truth get get brought out, you know. Again, as I said earlier, you're never gonna be the same again, all right? Once you get cut, all right? You're never gonna be the same again, all right? Let me see where we going now. All right, let me read some of this right here. <clears throat> so I, since I talked about it, I'm gonna read the scriptures concerning, you know what I'm saying? The family members, all right? And why you can't just be joined on to them like that. This is Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. All right, in a uh, verse, I'm going to start at verse 32. It says, Whoso, and it's written in red, so this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. All right? So there go for you camps playing with the Lord, all right? Verse 34, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I come, I came not to send peace, but a sword. All right, so the Lord said he ain't come to bring peace. All right, he said he come to bring a sword. All right? Verse 35, for... I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes should be they of his own household. All right, so there you go. All right, the Lord coming to break up that that uh that fucking family bond that those people are so attracted to. All right, your family. Or those in, in this truth, all right? That's our real family, all right? That's the house of David. That's our real family. These niggas who related to us by, by you know what I'm saying, just this earthly shit, this worldly shit, the way we came in, you know, they they, they are the house of Saul, all right? You're saying Yahweh Shai had two brothers that was with him, all right? James and Jude, and then he had two brothers that didn't, that wasn't with him, all right? So it is what it is. And they all came from Joseph. How about that? So let me see this. Uh, verse 37. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Alright? So you can't even... Your own children, alright? Once they get to a certain age, and 12 is the age of accountability, alright? If they go, go in the way where they don't, you know what I'm saying? They ain't for They ain't with this. They turn their back on you because they think you crazy for believing in this. Fuck them. All right, it is what it is. All right. Hey, you gotta remember they they ancient spirits themselves. All right, every body on this earth is a spirit and has been here before, and they got their own sins and their own. Uh, they gotta stand before you have a shot. All right. They were chosen spirits created by your house by your house. opposite all right the lord has an asshole side to him all right you know an extreme man bro you niggas don't know all right 
He ain't all hugs and kisses for Ray. And lollipops and, you know what I'm saying, all that shit. Lord, I'll punch you in your shit and tell you to man the fuck up. Stand up, nigga. Eat it. All right, get your ass up and go out there and do what I told you to do. All right. That's how the Lord is. That's how the Lord deals. The Lord is a man of war. All right. And your how about Shemai was shy. He's the father in the son's name. All right. So continue in verse 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. All right. And that goes into your family. All right. Before we came to the truth, a lot of us, you know, we were probably family oriented. All right. Used to being around our family. Had close and strong bonds. All of that shit, because you coming to this truth, that shit ends, all right? Because you, because the truth is in you, and you see them for what they are now. It's like, when you was around them in the world, and you used to do the shit you do with them, and see them do the shit that they do, it's like you turned a blind eye to it, like you had blindfolders on it, like, they my family, oh well, I don't care, they, they can do what they do, I love them because they my family. But the truth, man, it, it, the truth holds motherfuckers accountable. Everybody gotta be held accountable. So when you see a motherfucker doing wickedness, is just lost in their wickedness. You know what I'm saying? You be like, God damn. I don't wanna be around you and you your madness. God damn. Motherfucker be that ain't nothing to say. Alright, but when you as I was saying, once that once the light is in you, you see what you see. You know what you know. Alright, the uh the criteria changes, all right? God damn. All right, but yeah, the, uh, the criteria changes, all right? You feel like, man, I can't be around you, bro. I, I, I live a certain way. I hold myself to a certain standard. And if you don't live that way, all right, it's better for us to, not to uh, be around each other, all right? The scripture says you can two walk together unless they be agreed, all right? to be around you, all right? That's just what it is, all right? The scripture tell you, um, all flesh, all flesh cleave it to his sword, all right? You know what I'm saying? A man cleave it to his, to his preference, all right? So, you know what I'm saying? Man, y'all give me some, this is some fucking beat right here. Just like, oh, shit up. only so long because they miss their families, all right? You know, they miss, they miss, uh, being around their aunties. They miss, you know what I'm saying, shit, shit, they uncles, all right? They miss going to the cookouts and, you know what I'm saying, getting high with their cousins and shit. They miss, they miss that life, all right? You know what I'm saying? And then the truth just, it gets to the point where they like, man, I'm catching hell. My family's looking at me different. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't prospering in the world. I ain't got no hoes no more. Cause a lot of the times, <laughs> when you come into the truth, all right, Jake be having hoes on hoes on hoes and shit. You know, but Jake be dealing with all type of trashy ass bitches out here, all right. And when you in the world and shit, you be dealing with other niggas' bitches and shit. It just, it happens, all right. So when you come into the truth and that and that uh, that culture shock hits your ass, a lot of niggas they can't they can't take it. All right, you know, they start getting shaken, they start getting waved, and then eventually, the Lord put them niggas' candles out, and then the niggas is gone, all right, never to be seen or heard from again, all right, unless they, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Lord somehow only take them away for a minute, but that, that's, that's a rarity, but who wants to even go through that, all right, you know what I'm saying, you leave off from the plow, Turn away from the plow, man. Say that means the only way you get back, Lord, got to come back down and get crucified again. Fuck that. All right, you can't leave off, off of your, uh, off of your mark, bro. You know this is a spiritual Mormon being built right here. You abandon your post. All right, you know what I'm saying. You let the enemy come in and slaughter, slaughter. You know what I'm saying. The rest of the truth. All right. Shit. Fuck that. You a deserter, nigga. You can't be a deserter in this army. All right. Gotta go down with the ship, alright? You know what I'm saying? And only the elect got their spirit in them, alright? 
The rest of these niggas out here, they ain't got that spirit. When this shit go left, all right, we want the brothers to say them niggas gonna shave them beards and put them garments and them t-shirts with fringes up so motherfucking quick. All right, they gonna be blending in with the rest of the people, all right? Pussy ass niggas. All right. Anyway, no, uh, let me read some more. I'm over where we at with it. We ain't doing a second. Just know you got the, uh, 100% truth, it was accessible, it was out here, all right, starting with the apostles and elders, the great millstone, all right, who teach, and where I learned, you know what I'm saying, it's 100% truth, all right, let me read this right quick, in Revelation 13, and verse 16, because this is also a prophecy, that's fast approaching, all right, causes all, all right, that he being uh, Esau, the so-called white man, the face that runs the place, set up by your Hawaii Shemiah as the scriptures say, in 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of it, they follow it, so this is the age and the reign and the rule of the Edomite, all right, this is his, this is his time to shine, all right, this is his heaven, all right, so verse 16, and he causes all, both small and great. Uh, rich and poor, free and bond, and receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. All right, and that mark that it's speaking of is the microchip. All right, that's what Esau is coming with next. His new digital currency, his new uh, tag to mark all the people. All right, as Aaron Russo said, they look at the people as cattle. All right, you know, they want to they want to digitally tag every single person on earth. All right, that's what they want to do. That's the that's the end game of this fucking psycho devil Esau. All right. So again, and he caused he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right, and that, again, that mark is the chip. All right, and these other kids ain't teaching it. All right, they're teaching against that Sakari because they they came up under GMS. They still teach that, but. Just know the other these other camps ain't teaching that, all right. Verse, excuse me, seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Verse eighteen, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. All right, six six six. All right, the mark of Satan. All right. And if you receive, all right, that tag, you're basically saying Esau is your God, all right? The devil is your God, all right? And you can't take the mark of the beast and receive the microchip and then take it out. No, you've already shown who, you are, who your allegiance is with, all right? You know what I'm saying? You got to be willing to be put to death, all right? Be willing to get your head chopped off, all right? not take that, that mark all right the scripture tell you precious in the sight of the lord and the, the death of his saints so if they, if they come with you and they put you in one of them concentration camps and shit or wherever they got you at and they come down to the guillotine or the chip all right you know it's pretty much if you if you are the elect or the hopeful elect you know you already know what time it is you're like man this is this is an easy decision to be made i gotta go either way i'm either gonna die here or i'm gonna die this way so I might as well die for righteousness sake, get my head chopped off and come right back with the Lord. And take this chip. Alright, live as Esau's, you know what I'm saying, little bitch in his fagged out society. Alright, wait for the Lord to come back with the chariots and leave your ass here and melt you and burn you. Alright, it's death either way. Alright, you know what I'm saying? So you better off taking the honorable death, the glorious death. Only the elect are going to see it that way. These, these two third niggas, our families and all these people we're around, they're not going to see it that way. All right, if they even make it up to that point to get past Jacob's trouble, to receive that uh, that microchip, all right, them niggas gonna take it. All right, them niggas is gonna take it. They gonna be then seen so much debt. They gonna be then went through so much. They gonna be they gonna beg Esau to bring the normal back. All right, they gonna beg Esau to bring it back. All right, man, Esau gonna tell you, I gotta bring you some normalcy back. Just get down on your knees. Show me how much you love me, boy. All right.
right? And you niggas gonna get down and say, yes, master. Yes, master. All right? You gonna do what you always done, all right? Say you have no king but Caesar, except Esau as your lord, and the lord gonna come back and melt you niggas, all right? That's gonna be the end for a lot of you niggas, bro. That's gonna be your end. Alright, getting melted by an ICBM missile or by a laser beam from the cherry. Then again, the elect gonna be up in the heavens looking through that that uh that, the, the greatest telescope that you created. Gonna be looking through it, zoomed in, and be like, man, I know that nigga, that's that's this such and such, that's such and such. Gonna be watching you nigga get hit, boom, turn you niggas into smoke, boom. Alright. And the Lord gonna leave your spirits there in that fire too. Hey, we're gonna see you nigga spirits because we're gonna be in our angelic, angelic bodies. We're gonna see you nigga spirits, alright? You know what I'm saying? You niggas might look like the that scene on Tales from the Hood at the end when them niggas was in hell burning. <laughs> that might be how the Lord had you nigga spirits in that lake of fire, you know what I'm saying? How you niggas look like the, the hoop and hollering, jumping, dancing, cooling and buffooning so goddamn much. I don't know how you niggas doing this shit in that lake of fire, alright? And I'll be a, a tad bit facetious, but. Never know the Lord got a sense of humor. All right. So I'm gonna read this in Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed Revelation 14 and verse 9. And the third angel followed them with a loud voice, saying, If any man worship the beast in his image, receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashmiawashai which is poured out with that mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and with brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb, all right? And you got to remember, the elect going to be his, his holy angels in that day because they're going to be in, went up, got into their new bodies, all right? Man. Verse 11, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image and whosoever shall and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name all right so if you receive that mark all right just know you got a first class ticket to the lake of fire all right lord gonna leave your ass here and melt you man burn you up all right hey and even before then you're gonna get that grievous sore as well all right, that's a, that's another thing when you take that microchip and you try to take it out. You are the scripture tell you you're gonna get that grievous sore, that cancerous, that sore on you and shit. Man, say the angels are gonna know who who received it and who didn't. All right, you know what I'm saying it's gonna be blatantly obvious. All right, you know, and the scriptures also, you know, as we read earlier, the, 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 elect, the angels are gonna be protecting the elect during Jacob's trouble anyway. All right, so you know. That's pretty much it. Uh, just wanted to come out, you know what I'm saying, and speak, do the camp. As we're commanded to do, I hadn't been able to get out here the last, about almost week and a half or so. All right, it's been raining every fucking day and it's been all yucky and shit. All right, supposed to continue that today, but I got out early before, um, you know what I'm saying, it got started, all right. And I also had, you know, child, children, shit going on. Anyway, all right. I'm out. I was out here today. Lord willing, you know what I'm saying? This was edifying. Flow together and made sense. Uh, any comments, questions, anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Just leave it for me in the comment section. All right. If I just spoke anything, you know what I'm saying? Just let me know. And I'll clear it up. All right, but I'm going to close it out with that. All honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hashem, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach in the course where I learned this truth. All right, peace and salutations to the Lord Select. All right, Mohammed Asherala, Mohammed Asherala. All right, the Lord willing, I'm out here next week. Shalom.